Well, I'll sit record. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hello, all. Uh, my name is Caleb, and I will be doing my presentation on ING Play Up. So, real quick, how many, raise your hand if you have ever heard of this app before. Wow, no one. Okay, so hopefully that you'll learn something from this. It is a really cool app. It's one that I was made familiar with last year, but I'll talk a little bit about my story later. So the first thing I want to talk about is the correct pronunciation of the word GIF. It is not GIF, because if we are talking about GIF, we'd be talking about peanut butter. So that's, I just want to make that clear right off the bat. So I will be referring to it as GIF. Just like the word gift, like we give a gift to somebody, G-I-F, we're, we're just going to go with GIF. Okay, so now that we're all on the same page, let me hop right into my story. So at first I was like you, I had never heard of this app before, but I am an education major, so I did some of my placements down in Plain Local School District, uh, which if you don't know where that is, it's like Canton area, North Canton area. So as I went there, I got to meet my mentor teacher, and what he used, he used a lot of Google Slide, uh, a lot of the Google Classroom, because that's what they have there at this school. So one of the apps that he used was a gift maker. So the one that he used was IMG Play, and it's actually made by Google, which I thought was really cool. And if you don't know what IMG stands for, it's basically short for image. So now that we got that out of the way, I know that it is a little bit fancy in terms of like, you see all those letters like, oh, it must be something like really big, really long, but no, it just means image. So I thought that was pretty neat. But anyway, back to my mentor teacher. Um, he showed me this, and then I started playing around with it because this year I had the opportunity to run the men's soccer account on social media for their Instagram and Twitters. So I've been using this GIF making app in it and it's actually really worked out and a lot of uh, people have been commenting on the various GIFs that we've been doing. So I think it's pretty cool. It's one of the cool things we've been working on. And again, I plan to use this in my future classes in the future just because it is such a simple, easy app to use. So the first thing that I'm gonna have you all do is download IMG Play, since none of you have it before, and we are going to just look around in it. Um, I'll give you a couple minutes to be able to work on that, and yeah, and then we'll come to back together, and then I'll share our thoughts. If you need me, just like raise your hand, just like in elementary school. It should be a yellow icon. Yeah. As you can see, the one I have up there is made by IMG Play, the gift I have running up there. I don't know if you noticed it. We all downloaded the app now. Cool. And let's around with it, see what kind of gifts you can make. I'll give you like another minute or so.
okay, and time. I know I did not give you a lot of time to be able to do this, but I just wanted you just to get a brief idea of how the app works, some of the free features that go along with it, because it is a free app. Um, however, there are some in purchases that you can make, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. So real quick, I'm gonna toss around the tennis ball for whoever answers the question, just add a little uh, incentive to it. So um, what was one thing that we learned or saw from the IMG Play app? Yeah, wait. You there can you speed up or slow down like the the GIF. Yes, the GIF itself. Mm -hmm. You can speed it up, slow it down. That's one of the really cool features I like to play around with. Okay, can you toss it back? Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Oh, come on, did you catch one of the balls? <laughs> when are you going to do this in class? Yeah. It gave you like a, I don't know, like a network of GIFs you could use. Like, can you edit certain GIFs? Yes. Okay. So there are a lot of other gifts that people have made on there, so you can use those as well. Um, but yeah, there's a nice variety in there, which I like for, because again, it's a free app, but like there's so much more that you can do with it. Okay, I need one more person, because I like to always have three. One more person, anybody. Emma, how about you? What'd you learn from it? Oh, mine's still downloading, so. <laughs> I'm learning that my phone sucks. That's okay. Anyone else? Dustin, how about you? I guess you can do a lot with, like, I guess I never realized how much you can do, how much you can use to edit them. Okay, yeah. that's good. That works. Oh, one hop. Fantastic. Okay, you all did a phenomenal job with that. And yes, what did we learn? We learned a variety of things. However, just to go a little bit more in detail, based on my findings, a lot of younger people like to use this app. It's very popular, which, again, in certain parts of the whole world it's more popular than others as you can see there's not a lot of people in here that have heard of it before but it's one of the cool little features that you can play around with and also what's cool about it is that you can use it with other apps just like instagram twitter like i said social media it's a great thing growing thing so being able to find apps like this to be able to help us as you can see i also have the app of some of the things i've done so far this semester which is already flying by but it is pretty cool just to see that also, you may notice that anyone can use this app as long as you have a mobile device or a smartphone. It doesn't matter if it's Android, iPhone, so I think that's pretty cool as well. And like I said, you can enjoy as many homemade gifts as you want. So, according to GIF Maker IMG Play 2015 and Jasmine Age 2020, uh, these are some of the key features like we talked about. There's a variety of features that are in there, so you can add text. Uh, you can add other little stickers and other cool features in there. And again, a lot of these various features that you have are all from the free part. And you can speed up, slow down your GIFs. You can add images. You can add videos in there to make GIFs. And it's really cool. You can edit those videos for however long length of time you need to. So it's really cool to be able to experiment, play with, and just share this awesome GIF maker. So like I mentioned before, there were some certain purchases in the app so they are listed right up here so this is the way they make money off this app for even though that it's free there's some other features that if you pay for various subscription you get some more free features and then there's also some like new ones that they don't let the whole public see so then if you pay for a subscription then they're able to make money off that so you can always mess around with that if you're interested in getting the paid version i know as a poor college student i don't want to do that so i'll stick to my free version thank you very much so we also have our time one. So according to, um, sorry if I mispronounced the name, Simon slash MS 2018, um, this is the timeline of how GIFs were created. And then I added some other uh, dates in there, which I'll talk about in a second. So first thing I wanna go over is that the first GIF was actually made by CompuServe uh, in 1987. So GIFs have been around for a while, however, we really don't think of it that much because we think, oh, GIFs are like pretty much where social media is and we don't really think that it's been here for that long, but it really has, I promise you. Once the internet opened in 1991, it opened up the gateway to a lot of other uses for it. So for example, Mark Anderson made the first IMG tag, uh, thus where IMG GIF comes from. So he made the first image tag and it was a bunch of coding. I would have put it up there, but it was pretty long and I didn't want to do that. So. 
for the sake of time and reading, I just thought that it'd be easier if I just explained it to you. In, 20, in 2004, the GIF patent had expired by this point so that anyone could use the GIF itself, so it was free for everyone. And in 2018, Google released IMG Play. I don't know specifically when it was created. However, I do know that it was right around that 2018 mark was when it had first been released. So it's been around for about three years. Um, so I think that's important to know just because it's an app we don't really hear about, but it's been around for a little bit. And then 2021, like I said, that's when I discovered it myself. And it is pretty cool to be able to experiment with that and play around with it. So some pros to this, it's simple, it's integrated with Google technology. So like I mentioned before, Google Slides, Google Doc, Google Excel, doesn't matter, you can use it, put it in there. It's really nice, easy, convenient. There are also a lot of other tools that you can get, even though that we have the free version, there's a lot of tools in general that you can use and you can still make quality GIFs, if I do say so myself, I've been doing it all this year. It also has 4.8, the five star rating, uh, according to uh, Google ND, so just based on what the app uh, had said in terms of reviews, there are a lot of positives to it. There weren't so many two negatives. And even though the next slide is our negatives, it was hard trying to find these. So overall, it's been a well-liked app. I just wish more people would know more about it just because, again, like I said, there isn't a whole lot of talk about it. And I think that's kind of a disservice for this app because it is a very quality app. I just think that we need to spread the word a little bit you know, through social media. So some cons with it that I found, which were very, very hard to find. Uh, it was hard at times to incorporate a lot of photos with the GIFs, particularly with the free version, uh, just because they would either be a little too blurry, um, just the vertical, horizontal angle of it, it could change up and it doesn't look as smooth. So that's another thing that you can look into. In-app purchases, some of the in-app purchases uh, did not necessarily work out as well compared to others. Uh, there are limited free options, so like I said, it is a free app. It does have a decent amount of free options on there in terms of what you can do with it, but you don't have the full variety if you get the paid version. And lastly, it is better for Android users. I am an Android person. I know a lot of people in here are probably iPhone users, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but this app is particularly uh, easier with Androids, particularly with um, iPhones. I think part of that has to do with the software in the Pacific. Uh, phones themselves and this was all based by Google and D So some of my final thoughts again I hope you learned something today and particularly about the IMG play app on um, some of the cool features that you can do with it And I know that we're always into making gifts in general and being able to play around with it So like I said, it is something cool that I hope you'll be able to use outside of this class and hopefully once you leave this class today You won't uh, uninstall the app that we just installed. So hopefully you learned something today and yeah, these are my references. Thank you for your time.